hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is jasmine hello hi how are you doing so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this little look right here it is super cute super fairy vibes honestly i really adore it when i do colored looks this is what i love it's like my comfort in the color zone i guess you could say but other than that i'm not going to talk too much if you like this look you like it if you don't get out but this is how it looks and if you like it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with my ColourPop Concealer in the shade Light 16. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. And today I'm going to be going for more of a festival-inspired makeup look. So we'll see how this turns out. I actually honestly haven't done colorful makeup in forever. Just because, I don't know, I feel like I've been... I've been into soft glam a lot, and I'm not gonna lie, everyone's little soft glam trend totally got to me. Okay, and I'm gonna try to use all my dirty brushes. Bro, all my clean ones are pretty, I don't know, I just, I like these, and I like them a lot. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna be grabbing the yellow shade from the James Charles palette, and I'm just gonna be applying this all over the front. And I honestly do really want to kind of put it more in the inner corner and just drag it outwards because I want it to pop. And I feel like that's what you would want as well. So honestly, girl, apply it in the inner corner. Usually, I kind of stop right here and go up. But today, I'm applying all the way up here. Next, and I'm going to be going in with this little shade right here. and going in with the hot pink from the James Charles palette. And just applying it right here. And honestly, I'm actually pretty excited of how this looks going to turn out. I mean, hopefully everything goes as planned. But in my head, it looks really cute. So let's make it look cute in reality. Okay. So now that I'm doing this, I'm just kind of dragging it. A little on top of the yellow too, which is kind of going to give you a little orange effect, which is also cute as well. Then we're just putting it upwards. I am leaving a little white there just so it could be a little pop of highlight. And now we're going to be going in with a purple shade. I'm going in with a fluffy brush right here. And I'm going to start off with, I'll put like pictures of the shades I'm using, but I'm starting off with more so like a, I would say it's a magenta color and then I'm going to work my way into purple because I feel like going in with a dark purple at first. I don't know. It's very intense and it's a very hard color to blend out in the palette. So I'm just dragging it outwards. And the reason I'm doing this is because I clean it up afterwards because I feel like it's way easier. And we're just going to keep on packing it on. And now I'm just going to be going in with the darker purple, as I said, and just applying it more so in the outer corner. And now that I kind of have that done, I'm going to be going in again with the pink and just intensifying the whole look. So I just finished the other eye off camera, and this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to be going in with the... <coughs> Whoa! girl sorry now i'm gonna be going in with my wet and wild foundation in the shade soft beige this is my holy grail it is only five dollars four dollars with coupons and girl this thing is amazing and i honestly live by it so i'm gonna push our little hair back and we're just gonna go blend this all throughout the face the one thing i do wish i had it had is a pump because i feel like i use a lot more when it doesn't have a pump because i'm not really like measuring i guess you know but it's only like four or five dollars and i honestly adore it so i'm blending this out throughout all my face and i'm gonna grab a little more and a little um what is that called that naked tutorials did when no makeup makeup no makeup makeup okay so now i'm going on this side of my face and we're just gonna be blending it out as well honestly i feel like my favorite part of doing my makeup well i would say it's my face like i love eyeshadow makeup like i think it's so freaking cute but girl i feel like face makeup is where it is at like your skin and stuff because that is really what makes a difference like contouring blush highlight like it, it does a lot so do eyelashes but i feel like now there's just like eyelash extensions and everything and 
you know, I don't know, gentrify, gentrification in the makeup world. Okay, and now I'm just going to be applying a little on my nose because I didn't really get there. I'm going to get my ColourPop concealer again in light 16 and we're just going to be putting it under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And this is just to highlight the face, which girl, I love doing. I feel like I might actually go a little lighter on the concealer because girl, I don't know if you guys could notice, but I never really noticed, but your girl is pretty like white. Like sometimes I just look so pale and I just need, well not, not even pale, but like my foundation color is pretty light and I feel like I need like a brighter concealer to brighten up under my eyes. Okay, as if it's already not bright. Now that I blended out all of my concealer, I'm going to be going in with my Peach Perfect from Too Faced. And girl, I know Too Faced is in a lot of drama right now, but this is the only translucent powder that I like at the moment besides my Cody Airspun and I... That one's like running out but i just dump a little bit right here just whatever i'm gonna use and then i grab my morphe sponge tap off any little excess and let me grab my mirror right here and just pat it all over the face i don't really bake in the sun so i just kind of make it go into my skin and honestly i feel like that's all you need i mean unless you're like really oily then okay girl big and i honestly only get oily on my t-zone i'm gonna be grabbing my conspiracy palette and you may be wondering why but girl i like using two eyeshadow shades one for contouring and one for blush you guys probably would see which ones it is because i'm starting to hit a little pan with them sorry if the mirror is like there but i use this one for contouring and this one for blush so it's tanacon and pigment and honestly they are so good like i don't know what i'm gonna do when it like runs out because i love it so much but I'm going to be going in with Tanacon, and we're just going to be contouring and bronzing up the face, whatever you prefer. Sometimes I don't really like an intense contour, so I'll just do this. And now I'm just going all over the face. And this is what I was talking about that makes the big difference. Like, let's see. So I'm going to put a little bronzer up here. Here, and I'm gonna start with my blush and I'm gonna do the other side after just to show you guys what a difference it makes and honestly I'm obsessed with blush if you know me you know I like my cheeks to be as pink as my aura and here we go today I'm actually going a little softer which is honestly so surprising because honestly I'm not even gonna lie sometimes I overdo my blush but I don't mind because I love it finished doing my bronzer and high uh blush sorry i forgot what i was saying okay so now i'm gonna be grabbing a dry morphe sponge and grabbing some translucent powder and let me move my mirror and i'm just gonna be defining my cheekbones and now that we have this done girl it is all over my black shirt but it's is okay so now what i'm gonna be doing is grabbing the same yellow eyeshadow from the james charles palette or honestly you can use the yellow from the shane palette it is really good as well but i'm gonna use the yellow just because and i'm using the same brush as well and i'm just gonna be going under my lash line and i'm just doing this in the inner corner and i'm kind of making a drag to where the yellow is on top just to give it a little extra look and now what i'm going to be doing is grabbing a smaller little brush and going in with the pink shade and we're just going to do that under and i'm going to just mimic what i have on top and the bottom so now that i finish both of my bottom lashes i'm going to be going in with my e7s right here from aliexpress i'll link where to get them down below we're actually going to watch my video and then you'll find the link there a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Okay, so now I'm just going to be applying some duo lash glue on them. And then popping these babies on. And girl, now that I'm like almost done with my makeup, I feel rejuvenated. I feel like that bitch. And I feel like my soft glam phase 
might be over so you guys are gonna get lucky and get some more videos and i'll be right back once i pop these on guys okay, so we are almost done with the finished look now i'm gonna be grabbing some highlight this is a kat von d alchemist palette and i'm going in with the pink opal it is called and i'm just going down the bridge of my nose tip of my nose inner corner of my eyeballs And now I'm going to be grabbing a fat hair brush and just going in with the pink opal and ultraviolet for highlight. Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing some lash glue or putting some lash glue right on my little hand right here. And the reason I do so is because I like to put the little jewels right on it because I feel like that is what makes it stick on and sorry this gets a little hard when you have nails and honey yes my nails are real i mean not that it's a flex or anything but it kind of is so i've worked very hard for them to be the salon just kidding i honestly really haven't i guess i just finally got lucky with my life and so they're getting tacky right here these are two tiny ones so they're gonna be very little but they're gonna be cute it's a staple Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is, sorry, I need a closer mirror right here, so I'm going to be really close right here. I'm going to be grabbing some lash glue and going directly down the middle, right there, and then right there. And I'm just going to let that get tacky now, and then we're going to apply the lashes right there. So I'm going to be grabbing this, letting this get tacky, put some stuff away, left side I put a little more, okay. So you can start feeling once it gets tacky and you're going to grab the jewel with a tweezer and then just apply it directly on, then the same thing to the other side. And then you just, again, directly on. And now, girl, you are going to be set for the rest of your mother effing day, period. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with my lip product. And hopefully they're even. I mean, it looks like they're even. I think this one might be a little more further. So I'm going to be going in with some... I was going to be going in with that one. I'm just going to be going in with some lip gloss, if I'm being honest. This is MAC in the shade... Less. it's a lip gloss from them and i already have a lot going on in my eyes so i really don't need a lot in my lips Three. and you guys this is the finished look right here this is how it turned out i honestly adore it i think it looks super cute i love it i feel like it's very girly dainty fairy vibes i feel like the little two circles right here it made it really pop as well and honestly i really like it i feel like when I do colorful looks, I like these colors on me personally, and I like going lighter and then darker in the outer corners because it kind of makes my eyes go psh, a little snatched moment. But other than that, I really hope you guys like this video. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And other than that, I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, you guys.